And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spiders Aggro. Now we're updating it. We've played Spiders Aggro like one or two times, I think twice um, before, um, but I'm continuing to upgrade it and update it. And uh, it's you know a little bit better than like the beginner Spiders Aggro that we started with. We got our third Elise in here. And, but just in general, we're gonna be lower to the ground and more aggressive, and I'm excited to play it. You know, we have our good one drops with the Precious Pets, Hapless Aristocrats, even a seventh one with one uh, Legion Rear Guard. This was really like the, the metagame spiders on like the the uh, the tier list. Um, the thing that I'm excited about with them is playing Brothers Bonds. We're playing three Brothers Bond. This is a card I was not playing before. Grant two allies plus two plus zero, so that's permanent. So we can have our spiders trade up more whenever we're attacking in um so that's that's the main trade that i'm pretty excited about uh but then besides that um basically everything else is about the same also top end we got some new cards we have a couple rasas and a commander ledros because of how powerful these cards are they were even better when they cost seven and eight mana but still at eight and nine uh definitely still playable so uh here we go so let's play some spiders aggro play for about we're just gonna play some ranked matches here for about an hour hour and a half uh we're an iron one no this isn't not we're not an iron anymore uh silver silver one sweet so maybe we put together some wins and update to gold I'd be happy with getting getting to gold after this is this marks like one week of us playing Legends of Runeterra, and where I've mostly done uh, expeditions. It's a good aggressive hand. I like it. That egg. Did it move? Oh, I don't have the attack token. Boo. It's probably better for us to be attacking on turn two with Elise anyway. They're Teemo Elise? Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. Ooh, what's that noise? Is it? Jelly Moose is a familiar name for you? We could use a bite. You have to get me out of here. <gasps> Rossi, give me that Twitch Prime resub. Six awesome months. Thanks, Rossi. First one's free. You're a rock star. Thank you. Okay, he's on the arena Discord on the regular. Awesome. Jello Moose. Oh, so they're playing. Okay, they're playing. Yes, yeah, so they're going burn style. Okay. Um, I'm actually just gonna play the house spider. We'll bank a mana for these things. Um, that's a good question. Are post nerf Rasa and Ledros now t a bit too slow for an aggro deck? I guess it's possible. I I still like them. I still think they're really strong, but um, Brewing up some trouble. yeah, they could they they could be too slow for the aggro. Like maybe they shouldn't be in here. So we'll kind of see as we play. I don't want to. I didn't want to turn on the the two mana if one of their things died. 
deal three damage to something. Even though that could be... That could be silly of me, considering... Something like these things are gonna die. And like, even when I attack the next turn, other things will die. Is that fearsome also? If only those suitors were as lovely as you. Rude. Wow, back from Naya Zoo? Current back. Oh, yeah, that was that was one of my favorite decks to play. Back, like, beginning 2016 there. I guess that was four years ago. Thanks, Kernan. Um, but, yeah, there's... I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure if it will be or not. I stand for Nazis. So I can give, let's see, I can give like this plus two plus zero and like the skitter and then be able to block those things. I probably don't, uh, maybe I should do that. You must get by these first. Yeah, Ra I mean, we we do have to wait two more turns before we actually get to play Rasa. Yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend people trying out this game. This game. is quite fun. <clears throat> so they're killing my 2 2, so I'm gonna have that 2 2 kill their 3 2 first. The reason, you know, the reason to target that instead of having like my six three kill it is because if they had another removal spell, you know, they would have to double up on that thing. I also didn't even realize that like we were so close to killing our opponent there. I guess I could have dealt an extra two points of damage to them with the um, the blood for bond. Yeah, Kern, I'm kind of going through a tr transition phase and 
in life right now. This hand's awesome. We don't want Rasa yet. Spiders are pretty cool. I've always liked spiders. I had a pet spider. A pet tarantula whenever I was younger. There's nothing to fear. Play the 3-2 because it can block Elise, so it keeps them from attacking. So they're playing... They're playing the, um... The Fearsome mid-range deck that we had yesterday that I think is a really, really good deck. Hey, high tech! Getting the gift itself. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. Getting the hype in the channel. All right, let's see. Nope. I know what lurks in the shadows. Thank you. What do they got? Nope. Frenzied Skitter, there's there it is. So now I don't get to attack. So I can either just play a skitter or back and make their attacks worse. Yeah, I guess I just do that. Well, that's a good question. We're gonna do sub battles in Runeterra. Um We could maybe do that. I don't I don't know how to do that right now, but if we figure out how to do player versus player stuff, I'd be down with that. Maybe I should use maybe I should have used the black spear. Cause that's something die. But they would have been able to go straight to attacks. So I want to play the house spider first because I want them to play, you know, like them, they play another spider and then I skitter, like in case they play like the three, two with fearsome. There's an icon in the upper right corner of the main screen where you can add friends and challenge them. Okay. I guess I should attack with this thing too because I was thinking so basically I was thinking I don't want them to be able to have one of their creatures die so then they can have uh, Black Spear kill Elise but they can just have their O1 just chump block this thing and have that die so yeah I should have just I should have just attacked with 3-2 also So it looks like that's what they're going to do. Glitched. 
We got a backup lease, so all good. We got more spiders. Kill that thing. <clears throat> and then we'll play another house spider. Alright, so we got three spiders and these flips. I guess I should have done Vile Feast first and then played that. Yeah, I, I should have done Vile Feast first. Attack. All right. GG's. That was a good win. That was a real good deck that we played against. That was a good win. GG's. Get that experience. We are one win away. Probably from whatever this thing is. It looks pretty, pretty looks pretty epic. Probably an epic cap capsule. That'd be my guess. Yeah, I do think this is a very good first deck to craft. Yes. Um, yeah, I think this is. You know, like the, you have a lot of these pieces whenever you start playing the game. Not all of them. Um, I have like the two eights and a nine drop at the top end that you don't necessarily need, you know, like you uh, you can, you know, to start with before you get like the other epics to craft craft those, you can, you know, replace those with, with whatever, you know, something else, whatever other like powerful, like noxious cards you got. I think I'm gonna just keep the Dar Darius. No, maybe we'll replace Darius. Yeah, I guess I replace it. Darius is strong though. No, I have uh, I have speakers playing, so I hear I hear the music, and you won't get past me. Um, and I, ha I have the game sounds on, but the music's a little bit louder than the game sounds for me. I'm not sure if that's how it is for y'all too. So I can't I don't really hear what they're saying. I can hear that they say stuff, but I can't really understand it completely. I know on YouTube, um, there's not like there's not the music, so it's a lot easier to hear the sounds and stuff. Lux Ezreal, so spell heavy deck. Rough. 
Wasser. One shot, all skill. So now Ezreal has just has zero power. That's an egg. <laughs> Cry face. So it doesn't actually get to do any damage. Whenever it hits, then they get a mystic shot, so they would have been able to use that mystic shot. You're between me and glory. Take a look at this. Lady Elise, where are you? <laughs> nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. <clears throat> All right, they're down to three. Trying to finish this one out. That's a good draw. Deal three damage to an enemy unit, so we can kill Ezreal if one of our things dies, which of course our spiders are gonna have to die if they wanna stay alive. Yeah, you just started playing, so Snarecrow, um, check, check the YouTube channel. I'm sure you know the no, YouTube link, but just in case, you know, uh, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. I, I played Spiders like very first day of that I that I played, and then I played it again a, a few days later. So like very first so you can see like day one spider aggro, you know, not using any wild cards like at all. And then a few days later I did use some wild cards, but kind of upgraded a little bit from the first day, and now this is the the more meta version. So if you want some you have to get me out of here. some comparisons, especially if you don't want to use your raw cards right now, you know, you, you can get some ideas for other cards and stuff like that. But yeah, you definitely, you probably don't need these epics at the top end, but you want some top end cards. You're welcome. Hopefully it helps. All right, gonna be going straight to combat. Let's go play that first. They're crying. <clears throat> They're crying and saying good game. Hopefully that doesn't mean that I'm about to get blown out by something. <laughs> I'll I'll do the good game thing back. But you always have to be skeptical whenever you have an opponent do that. Yeah, better use wild cards over shards. You can also because you can also use shards to enter. Um, enter the expeditions. <laughs> yep. I've been hiding my life too long. So It's 
So this, so I'm trading all three of my creatures to do two damage to them. All right, yeah, whatever. So, you know, Lux blocks here, that blocks here. They take two, go to one, but then then they cast this thing and kill this. So I'm out of stuff. I need I need to not be out of stuff. A beacon through the dark. Ab yeah, absolutely, Hopsink, I really do. When I'm summoned, grant me plus four, plus zero, and quick attack. Medium attack with our quick attack. Could have dealt. Could have dealt eight damage. Come closer. I don't fight. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think this game has a lot of potential. It's very very well put together every game is close and interesting even with best of one this could be really good if you know we want to draw the three power creatures those are some three power creatures. Oh, I only get to play one though. I salute you. Only get to play one. They got two mana. Happy to do whatever's needed. All right. Well, they they're still alive. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Never mind. They're at three. They go down to one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the vault opens up. Yeah, you you open the vault every Tuesday. Um, with this game, you you should just open the vault right away, and it you can't you can't open it until Tuesday. Um. So if you if you didn't open it this past Tuesday, then like two days ago Tuesday, then yes, open it. Um, and you know you get a whole bunch of stuff for opening your vault, and you, your vault levels up from anywhere from level. Like, I don't know, either 0 or 1, whatever it starts at, to level 13. Level 13 is the max. If you get it up to level 13, then you get... Um, the people are my strength. Then you get three diamond chests and a free expedition token. As long as you get to level 10 or above, you get free expedition tokens. You get you get one free expedition token if you get to level ten or above. One of us dies. Yeah, there's no benefit to not opening the vault. So yeah, you should just open it. But that that could should should basically be your level your weekly goal is to at least get to level ten for the vault. To get that free expedition token. From blood, glory. 
No, I mean, I think it. I think the level's reset, I think. So no, you, you just open it every week. I know the Arachnid has Fearsome, but I, I didn't want to give them the chance. If I play Arachnid, we've seen them play the, the seven mana spell a bunch. It does three, does two, does one. I don't want to give them the chance to play that. Wow, that was close. So as you see, like you know, like my vault's already at, at level eleven. You know, Tuesday was two days ago, so there's three days of playing, and thirteen is as high as you can get. Um, but of course, I've been playing like seven hours a day for those for three days now, but. You're welcome, Yud. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you just open the open the vault as soon as you can, and then the, the next week, Tuesday to Tuesday, try to get it to, like, level 10 to get the free expedition token. It's a good hand. Basically, do I want Culling Strike or not? I think the answer is no. Oh, Ezreal. There's nothing to fear. Well, this killing strike does kill Ezreal. Nothing escapes my watch. So we can't block these things. They're fearsome. These spiders are fearsome, so they can't block them, but they can block this little 1-1 one one if they want. Yeah, there are some really, really good one-drops in this game. Yeah, Precious Pet is definitely one of them. But love Omen Hawk. They just nerfed the Inspiring Mentor because of how good that card was. But yeah, definitely some real good one drops. Um, either yesterday or the day before. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday that I played a, a buffed elusives deck that I built. A true Felyorian, welcome. Uh, that took advantage of the one drops, Omen Hawk and Inspiring Mentor with the the two mana Conspirator that bounced them back to hand. I really liked that deck. If only those suitors were as lovely as you. Leaping into action. Mm, don't have quite enough mana to do house spider plus skitter. <clears throat> so we'll just go skitter. So these things can all be fearsome, and that 2-1 can't block any of them. Oh yeah, I can't play it. Out from the darkness. My life for Avarosa. I'm gonna get that damage in. Save the homestead. Okay, start an expedition today. Got a similar deck to that one with Lucian and Callista. Nice. That's a good one. Currently on four wins, gonna continue it tomorrow. Alright, good luck.
kill that. You are really enjoying it, Raman Gorath? Nice. Yeah, this game's just awesome. The Shadow Isles base decks. Yeah, I like the self-sacrifice stuff with the Shadow Isles in particular. Um, in like... Uh, you know, in Expeditions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to build a, a self-sacrifice value deck. Let I'm gonna build in that soon. To and made for tomorrow. Does Elise not make a spider anymore? Okay, so no, Elise does so when you, Elise flips doesn't make a spider anymore. I'm not challenging challenging this to anything because these are all fearsome. They can't block any of these. You won your first expedition with Fiora. Nice. Yeah, Fiora is is really strong. Especially you get to build around her. Ch Challenger is just a really powerful mechanic. Your favorite decks have been Yasuo, Katarina, and Ash. Those are all fun to play. I haven't played enough Katarina. Katarina always looks pretty cool whenever my opponent's playing it against me. Yasuo is your favorite hero, even though it's so weak. We got a little bit of a buff. We're getting there. Gonna keep killing these Ezreals. Mystic shot, mystic shot. Firing. So Ezreal transforms. Don't know what they're up against. Levels up, I guess is the correct term. Levels up, but still kills. Safeguard our homes. We'll just drain this, get another spider. So now, even if they have one frost frostbite thing to not take this five damage, we still have six other power in play, and they're at six. So let's go. Go straight to combat. Frostbite two enemies. Ew. Still just making them waste a bunch of cards. Just to stay alive. Yeah, I agree. Definitely took me some time also to kind of figure out uh, timing stuff. Absolutely. All right, would I rather play the Precious Pet or the Hapless Aristocrat? It's the Precious Pet. We're trying to win the game this next turn. Really wish Black Spear could go 
do damage anywhere. If it's just three damage to, you know, any target kind of thing, and you could just do the damage up here, that would be amazing for this deck. So that's a good sign for me. Now they only have two mana. I don't know what they're getting with two mana anymore. I think that's going to be a win. Okay. Zero mana, discard two, draw two. You're between me and glory. All right. Got that fourth win. Level up. Rank up. We in gold now. <clears throat> and we get this this thing with like that that ooze inside that's Mountain Dew that's in there boiling. Golden. Look at that. Get that sweet Mountain Dew. <laughs> Thanks, Yud. Gold hype. All right, what do we get? We got another True Shot Barrage. Awesome. That card's been really good. Um, Boom Crew Rookie, that's a good one to have. It's good for the burn deck. So there we go. Raman Gorev, thanks for the tier one sub. I was glad to see you playing Legends of Runeterra. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I went to nine on this one. I have one... Frel Yord is the only region. So I have one region left that I didn't do eight. I did eight of the rest of them. I didn't do eight of Frel Yord, but there's actually just a lot of Piltover and Zahn cards I want. Like basically the, the two champions I really want. And so I think I'm just going to kind of keep on going here and trying to get the other two champions and like these different capsules. And, and there's just a lot of PNZ cards I want. So I'm going to just kind of keep on going here, I think. Try to get this other champion capsule and stuff. You know, there's one region I didn't get to eight. All right, verse player. Let's see, where's our deck? Spiders, there we go, figured it out. I really wish like, so I can just tell that this is gold, but I because you know from talking to people but i really wish that it said anywhere like in one of the screens i wish it said iron bronze you know stuff like that because it is i wish it just said it somewhere like one of the screen the screens it says that you're gold oh yeah if you're yeah if you're colorblind oh yeah that's that's impossible you can't tell yeah, that's, that's impossible. All right, let's get a new hand. That hand wasn't very good. Yeah, they, they need to they need to say that somewhere, just like what you actually are. Because some, somebody else was, was saying that they thought that, they thought, you know, it started at like silver and then went to gold and then platinum that instead of iron, bronze, silver, like that's what they thought they were doing. They're like, man, I'm in platinum rank already, but they were in silver rank. Because it doesn't say anywhere. Like, how are you supposed to know? Yeah, exactly. Just, uh, just starting out, how are you supposed to know what ranking is anything? This Ezreal deck is really popular. It's definitely the most popular deck we've been playing against. Leaping into action. So one strong. I mean, we we've been doing good against it today, though. I think we 
I think we lost once, and I think we've won the rest of the times. I think. I could be wrong. Is there any reason not to trade off the 3-2? No, there's not. But no, yeah, you're right, CDN dude. Yeah, if you you know if you really like you know whatever region you like, you get to just keep on getting the rewards of that region instead of just the random boosters. That is pretty nice. Not a very good draw. Ooh, maybe it is a very good draw. <laughs> Your opponent had two Commander Ledros, got you to one HP using that ETV ability. And you still won. Nice. That is a scary card for sure. Yeah, I think I have it switched to the F 60 FPS. Yeah. So yeah, you can change it to 60 FPS. I'm, I'm on there. Troop of Elnux is so good. Yeah, if I, yeah, I could attack first and then fast kill spell. They still get to block. Like even even if you do that, so like they still would have been able to just put their blocker in front of one of my creatures. Time for a true display of skill. So they still get the opportunity. Yeah, no, you can't time it so they don't get to block. Basically, if you go to attackers, then they get to go to blockers in this game. So even though like you use your removal spell on their thing. Before that removal spell resolves, you go to blockers. Nailed it. Ooh, what's that noise? We didn't have a very good hand here. I think we're losing this one. It's okay, Harem King. That's you just gotta keep. Yeah, even if you're, you know, losing, that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. Just gotta keep learning, and you know, working on and you know, just working on improving, and you know, don't get down about the wins and losses. You know, this game's so new. Just focus on learning and, and improving. I'm not winning this game. This is not a game I'm winning.
Sounds dangerous. I'm in. No blocks. The crowd favorite was a good draw. One of my better draws. I need, you know, my top end, my two top end cards. Those would be my best cards to draw right now. Yeah, it happens, Harm King. Don't... It's all good. Man, they get two Elnux. Yeah, Should have just gone to combat. <clears throat> they probably have like they probably have another Ezreal in hand that's my assumption but yeah we're we are not winning this We're getting six cards over there battlefield is like kind of even and they have six cards Yeah, maybe we top deck like those really expensive champions. They're not champions, but uh, epics. The eight, eight, nine mana epics. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. Come on, Epics. Ledro, Ledros, Casa, or Rasa, right, Rasa. I don't want to make it like obvious that I have a Rasa and have them play around it or, you know, anything like that. Don't want to make it obvious. Well then. They won't still like a yodel in uniform.
I have to just try to stay alive though, also I'm at 9. They're just going to give me these puck caps and hope I draw them. That draws. House spider. Attack. A little surprised they didn't block with their 3 2. Right Fang. Right Fang Wolf, honestly. Because they would have just killed it. Not and ready. Kill that thing, because I I think they're they're probably gonna play another creature here. That's that's my guess, is that then they they play another creature and then I can get both creatures. No. I want to see they played a bigger creature. That's what I was hoping. If they don't have creatures, that means they probably have a whole bunch of frostbite. So I shouldn't get damage in for a while. That's basically their deck is. Bunch of frostbite. Yeah, they had just discarded two frostbite spells there. Hey, after wizard. So we've been playing some really sweet games here. Round 16. A battling ally strikes a battling enemy. Are we gonna mill them out? They have six cards left. Oh no, they're They're just killing me. Eight damage. I can go to seven. They burn me out. I almost milled them out. Game ended up being closer than I thought it would be. For like all that time, I didn't think we had, you know, we didn't have much of a chance to win that game for most all of it. It ended up being kind of fast, or kind of close. All right, we're facing a lot more aggressive deck now. Oh yeah, we're playing Darius. Hmm. Are they gonna have one toughness things that I want to vile feast? Maybe. Stream's going great. Yes, stream's going great. 
Having another fun day here with Legends of Runeterra. Wow, what a card. A 5-1. Perfect. Drain one, make a 1-1. One, one. But they're... That 5-1 that has Challenger, that's basically... It's basically Lava Coil. Like, that's how you should treat that card. Like, they probably shouldn't be playing it on... Uh, on that turn... Um, on turn two, just because that, that really should be treated as a removal spell. Yep, post birthday stream. No stream uh, Saturday. As you can see over here. Different people I'm going to be meeting and. Um, and everything. So no, no stream Saturday. This is what a four four. Four fours are big. I stand for Nazis. I stand for Noxus. All right, everybody's standing for Noxus. I get it. Oh, I should have just blocked the 2-2 two -two with that. Not the 1-1. One -one. I stand more for Noxus. I'm gonna bake the mana and have like the the mana available to use in combat. Nothing can stop me. I get frostbited for Nexus. No one's the wiser. I'll handle this myself. Alright, I guess we'll have Darius handle this himself if we're all standing for Noxus. You must get by these first. Fate brings us together. Not so fast. All right, we'll try to kill this thing. I'm down to five. That is a risky proposition to be at. I'm down to one. Still a risky proposition to be at. Where's my axe? This is lethal. I have a lethal attack. No, they had to decimate. Uh, that kills me. I had a lethal attack there. I needed, you know, I need to play that three two to make it a lethal attack. But yeah, they they needed one more direct damage spell. If they just had, if they just had a creature to block, I was, I still had it. I had lethal through a blocker. They had to have a direct damage spell. Yeah, do I need to? Because because basically, if they would have blocked, I would have killed it. I guess I guess it wouldn't have been lethal through a blocker if, as long as they blocked Darius, because Darius has trample. But they probably weren't blocking Darius. They probably would have blocked one of the other things. But oh well. Hmm. There's Ledros. 
I haven't seen the commanda too often. You will act second. This is not a good not a good hand to act second when you have one drop, three drop. You want to act first with one drop, three drop. Is it? Okay. So this is the... We did... We won this matchup earlier. Come closer. Against Fearsome Midrange. But I do think Fearsome Midrange is very good. I think we're... You know, fortunate to win earlier. Okay, well, we get a two for one. We trade their Mist Wraith and their Trick for my Elise. But they got my champion off the board. pretty even game so far which you know an even back and forth game where just everything's trading is good for us how we have like these top end cards so I pull the string. this is working out well for us so far I know what lurks in the out from the darkness. come stay a while hmm so I'm going to do this one and we'll do this actually alright punish yeah that, that's what I was thinking play around vile feast and just eat you know, real easy to kill the X one. <laughs> Neither of us did anything. I'll handle this myself. Go, Darius, go. There's the vile feast. Me. Attack. Jeff of the Jungle. Welcome, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. All right, do I go for lethal? Oh, I guess it's not lethal. You're, yeah, it is lethal. I think I can. You know, they blow me out, I'm just getting... It's just a spider. Like, whatever. I got these things. Okay. Well, made them use two, two spells. Everything is for Noxus. Yeah, two for two. And I think we got that... I mean, I think we got that 1-1 one, one spider for free for, from something else anyway. death we'll just kill that thing we take six those go away we still got our Darius after wizard thank you so much 
Awesome, Kamikaze Mania now sub in the channel. All right, so that gets us to our fifth win, five and two. There we go, good odd number. So we played seven matches last time. We'll get, we'll get seven matches with this deck there as well. All right, so that's Spider's Aggro. Um, Definitely felt pretty strong. Yeah, def definitely felt pretty strong. I liked it a lot. Um, good good beginner deck, as we talked about. Good deck to kind of build towards, you know, right away. Um, I think it works pretty well. So, like, the Rasa and the Ledros are both a little slow, but they're still very powerful. You know, sometimes, like, whenever your opponent is playing a slower deck and can slow you down. Um, Brother Spawn looked good. I liked it. So, yeah, I liked, I liked the numbers in this deck. A lot of good stuff here. Awesome. All right, so tomorrow, so we won't be doing uh, no expedition tomorrow because we've done our three expeditions for the week. So we're going to be playing four ranked decks tomorrow and starting to climb gold now. Now we, we got to gold. Um, so pretty nice, pretty nice day. All right. Uh, those of y'all watched on YouTube, really hope you hit the like button on the videos. I appreciate it. Awesome. Snarecrow, you're currently undefeated with this deck? Cool, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. If you're playing some spider aggro, let me know how it's going for you or anything else. If any decks you want me to play, uh, send me those deck lists and I will try them out if I have the cards. All right, but thank you so much for watching some spider aggro and I'll see you for the next video.